So hi, good morning. Welcome to this another series lecture about basic electrical theories. So in this section here, take note that this will be divided, the assessment will be divided into two parts. Before you will be given a certificate, first you are going to take the written assessment okay, about the basic electrical theories and then we will have the practical assessment which is you are going to wire basic uh, series and parallel connections. Okay, so in this particular series lecture or review, if you have already undergone a like, discussion or class about electrical theories or electric, uh, electricity, so we are going to tackle the basic concept first, the things that you have to know in an electrical electricity or electrical theory. Basically, we have to discuss the uh, voltage, the current, the resistance, and the, the power. And then later on, we are going to discuss the relationship in a mathematical form using the Ohm's law. Okay? And then after that one, we will discuss some basic uh, theories and principles about the series and parallel circuits. So in this particular lecture, we will discuss first the voltage, current, and resistance. So let's get started. Okay, so in every electrical theories, in every electrical discussions, it is very important that we have to understand first the three important things. First is, what is a voltage? Okay. We, we have to ask first the voltage, okay? And then after the voltage, what is the, what do you mean by current? And then what do you mean by resistance? So these three important terms here are, are commonly discussed in the very beginning when you will be taking electrical engineering or electrical circuits, okay? So first, in order to appreciate the relationship or the, the concept about voltage, current, and resistance, okay, we have to uh, illustrate this one in a very simple diagram here. Okay, so let's try to imagine here. Let's try to imagine a tube. Okay. Okay, so let's try to... This is not a mag magnet. Just try to imagine this one as, as a curved tube. Okay, so this curved tube here is a hollow. Okay, a halo. And then let's try to imagine, let's try to imagine that there are some bolts inside this, uh, inside this tube here. So let's say, uh, let's color this one as red. Okay, so there are some bolts here. Okay, so we have a tube and we have the bolts inside that particular tube. Okay, so in this analysis here, we can, uh, we can say that uh, this tube here, Okay, this tube here is a representation of a conductor. Okay, a conductor. And these uh, red balls here is, are the free electrons or the electrons. Electrons. Now, sir, what is electrons? If we are going to go back with the discussion of the atomic theories, the atomic theories, we have the atoms, and then inside inside an atom, we have the protons, the electrons, and the neutrons. So basically, in electricity, the most important uh, subatomic particles there is the electrons. So in this particular case here, this is not an atom, but it's a representation of electrons or free electrons. Okay? So just that. Okay, so now we already have a conductor and we have electrons. Okay, to illustrate this one, let me ask you a question first. Okay, so at this particular initial state here, are these balls here are moving? Okay, can you see that this uh, there is a movement of electrons here? Or is there a movement of these balls in this particular scenario here? The answer is, of course, no. There's no movement at this particular case. Okay, there's no movement. So in order to move these electrons, we need some guy. We need some guy to push these electrons. Okay, we need some guys. We have to draw that. We have to draw that particular guy here. So... Draw this one. Let's say uh, this color black. Okay. Let's try to draw this guy here. <laughs> so let's put some eyes, nose, and a mouth. Okay, so so this guy here is responsible for moving these balls here. So basically, uh, there are some balls here and then some balls here. Okay. And then that balls are being moved in a clockwise position. So basically, at this very moment here, this particular guy here, here is getting some uh, electrons or get, getting some balls in this area here, and then he puts this one on the other side of that 
uh, terminal there. So basically, you can now see that there is a movement of your uh, balls. Your balls now are now moving in this particular direction. Okay, so what do you mean by this by this scenario here? So there are a lot of things we can easily uh, check the relationship just by imagining this diagram here. Now, so this black person here is this is what we call the electromotive force, or what we call this one as the EMF, or the electromotive force, or the most common term for this electromotive force is basically this is the voltage. So in other words, in simple terms, voltage is the one responsible moving your electrons in that particular circuit. Now, at this particular moment here, you can see that the green arrow there is it's already moving. The balls are already moving. So in this particular case here, we already have current. We already have current. So if that is the case, so what is now current? So basically, current is the flow of electrons. Okay? If your electrons are moving, so it means that there is a current in that particular circuit. So in this particular circuit here, we can see that there is already a movement of your of your electrons or your balls here. So it means that there is current in your circuit. Okay, again, so the voltage is responsible for moving your electrons. And then if in that particular loop or in that particular circuit, the electrons are moving, so therefore we have current. Okay? So, if there is no movement of electrons, there is no current. Okay? So, we, we have to consider that one. So, now, in this particular case here, there is some guy here. There is another guy. And another person, this one here. And another person, let's say the color is, let's say, black again. Another person inside this conductor here. Okay? So, this guy... Okay, opposes this flow of electrons. So basically, uh, it's similar to a friction, a friction inside this particular tube. But basically, it reduces the flow of those of these particular balls here. Okay, so in this particular case here, this black guy here is what we call resistance. Resistance. So by definition, again, by definition, what do you mean by definition of the resistance? The resistance is a property of material that opposes the flow of electrons. Or basically, it opposes the flow or it opposes current. Okay, so now, let's try to understand this one. Without even knowing the, the, the mathematical Ohm's law here, we can try to imagine this one. Okay, so, what do you think will happen to current if voltage increases? It will increase or it will decrease. Okay, What will happen to current? So basically, we can easily identify, we can easily imagine using this particular diagram here that if the voltage or that this particular person here, this particular guy here is increases or getting bigger, bigger and bigger, so therefore the force is getting bigger and bigger, so therefore we can assume that the movement of the electrons becomes faster. So if the movement of the electrons become faster, Hence, we can say that the current increases. Okay. However, vice versa, if we can, if we are going to reduce this guy here, the voltage here to a, to a dwarf or something, a smaller person or a malnourished person, so we can uh, we can see, we can assume that the movement of the electrons there will become slower and slower. Okay. And then another relationship here. Now, let's try to imagine here the relationship between the resistance and the current. Okay, So try to imagine that there is a movement, or this is according to Einstein. We call this one as the thought experiment. So without even seeing this particular diagram, just imagining this diagram here, we can see that the relationship, which is very important. Okay, So in this particular case here, try to imagine that there is already a movement of electrons. Okay, Movement of electrons, the electrons are already moving. However, there is some guy here, that black guy here, that resistance guy here, becomes bigger, bigger, and bigger. So what do you think will happen to the current in this particular case here if that resistance guy there increases? So we can see, we can say that the current 
decreases. So that is an inverse relationship. Inverse relationship in a way that if one property or one uh, one variable increases, the other the other guy, the other variable decreases. So increase, decrease, decrease, increase. So in this particular case here, if resistance in this particular in this particular diagram here increases, hence we can say that the uh, current decreases. And then at the same time, if the resistance in this particular tube here or conductor here decreases, then we can say that current will increase. Okay, so that's the basic relationship of the voltage, current, and resistance. But in the next lecture, we are going to discuss or we are going to express the relationship between the voltage, current, and resistance in a mathematical expression using the Ohm's law. And then the next lessons, the next videos, we are try, we will solve some problems that will come out with in your uh, written assessment, okay, in order for you to prepare for those uh, solving problems, okay? So see you in the next lecture.